I'm Carolyn Gussoff in Beth Page, Long Island, at a summer camp of sorts with lots of smoke in the air. But it is not from campfires. We are at junior firefighter training, preparing the next generation of volunteer firefighters, which is badly needed. This camp is called Fahrenheit 516, named for the intense heat campers experience as they learn what it takes to become a firefighter. The camp in its sixth year is designed to attract and train future volunteers. A shortage across the nation is impacting the retention of volunteers. Nassau County officials say dwindling numbers is a serious problem. Recruitment is a real challenge. Young people are busy. There's lots of things taking them in other directions, but we rely on the volunteer fire service and we need to keep recruiting. This is a wonderful tool to get more people involved. I think, I think we've seen a drop off interested in a lot of things lately and uh, you know people volunteering their time uh, isn't always the way people you know go right now but uh, we really have a strong campaign going in New York State there were once 125,000 volunteers now only 80,000 declining numbers as the population and needs are growing this training is hands-on the real deal campers ages 14 to 17 say They've had to overcome some fears. Is there any uh, amount of hesitation, anxiety, fear when you're walking in to some of these exercises? A little bit. I'm, I was scared of heights. I got over that yesterday. I was able to climb up the ladder. Today I'm a little nervous because it's the first time going in. But otherwise I'm putting it behind me and just going to focus on getting the job done. I have a lot of family in the fire department and growing up around it, um, I've always wanted to do something like it. and. Uh, I admire my father and what he does in the fire department, and I want to follow in his footsteps. Camp Fahrenheit 516 lasts one week, and then in some cases, campers can start on the job as young as 17 years old. Many of these departments are offering very attractive incentives like health benefits and tuition assistance in an effort to attract these badly needed volunteers. In Bethpage, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.